So now I'm going to show you some combinations of the rules. These are just ones that might pop up where you ha just have to, of course, make a decision on how to solve them. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, decision we need to make is can I factor x squared plus 2x plus 3? Can I? No, no I can't. So, the breakup is going to be something like this. The decomposition Now notice up top, shh, I've got bx plus c and I've got a quadratic down the bottom that won't factor. This is um, a standard procedure for these, for these problems, okay? So I'm going to have to do two integrals. The first one's easy enough, but before I get there I have to calculate a, b and c. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to use heavy side or anything like that. I'm just going to go to the general method where you look at the integrands and multiply both sides by everything down here. So I'm going to get some cancellations. Okay, so you can, if you want to equate the coefficients, or you can just substitute in, whichever method is you're more comfortable with. Okay, it's up to you. All right, so um, All right, well, I just subbed in x equals 0, x equals minus 1. And that led to the following. Now, I'll leave you guys to fill in the details for a, b, and c, or the working if you want to. So let's have a look at the integral now under that um, decomposition. Okay, so the, the first integral is easy. The second integral, well, it's like the example that we just did. You're going to have to play with the integrand, 2x minus 3, and break it up. So that's going to lead to a, the integral is going to lead to a logarithm and an inverse tan. Okay, so I can integrate the first, uh, the first one okay. Okay, so... So if I break that up and complete the square down here, I'm going to get something like the following. Okay, complete the square down here. I'm going to get x plus 1 all squared plus 2. Okay, so all I need to do now is do the final integral. Oh, sorry, yes. I've got logs on the brain. Thank you. Inverse tan. 